at shore. The journey is the mission. It's a methodical pursuit of excellence. For almost a century, this path has been paved with sound. As the war created new problems for you. Words. Music. This is the story of a company of people who passionately invent and build tools for audio professionals, artists, and sound enthusiasts all around the world. It's a story unlike any other. This is the story of Sure. The purpose of this recording is to provide an opportunity for you to learn about some of the basic principles of this company. Sure's history is really one of adaptability. If you think about the origins of Sure as a mail order radio parts catalog company, way back in the beginning days of radio, and then quickly understanding that radio was dependent upon the broadcast networks that were emerging to produce programming. We started out in Chicago in what was then a sort of a light manufacturing area on Huron Street. We're very lucky because of our products. Obviously our products have been front and center in most of the world events that have shaped history over the past century. You're hard pressed not to see our microphones when history is being made. We know very well that absolute perfection cannot be attained, but we will never stop striving for it. When SN started building microphones, he wanted to build a quality product. I think quality took on its own, its own meaning in terms of ruggedness. I'm amazed still, I've been here 20 years, that we're still selling microphones because I'm thinking, but they don't break, <laughs> you know, so why are we still selling? Once they get knocked a bit, you can't take a chance of going out in front of 10,000 people with a, a mic that might go on you. Our microphones have been through fires. Shaken, get rattled. You see people running over microphones with their cars. Get exposed to really high humidity. They've been immersed in water. I threw it as hard as I could into the ground. And it came up with one side completely flat, but worked perfectly. You see a lot of this on, on YouTube, people trying to damage SM58s, and yet the product still works. Our SM58 is approaching 50 years. It's still the largest selling uh, single microphone in the world. We're still selling a lot of these products in the market. And this is really truly a legend that a product can exist in the market for 45 years. The, the microphone, its prefix SM, actually stands for studio microphone. It was not by intention or design, but the microphone was kind of adopted by people who were doing major live sound events at the time. And uh, that's the microphone then about which people said, this is the way it ought to look and feel and, uh, and sound. The SM58 is a virtually indestructible, world-class microphone, a workhorse. It's the standard by which every other microphone is judged. Its specifications are tailor-made for vocalists. Use it, abuse it, trust it. The SM58 works hard, sounds amazing, and never quits. Well, Sure products are tough enough to get the job done. And I think they've been tested through the most demanding environments. And that's something we take a lot of pride in. We make our product more reliable durable, sustain, and also you know, exceed the, the, the industry market requirement. We also have a very, very rigorous testing process that we put products through involving many types of environments. All of our new products are required to pass all of these tests before they can launch to the marketplace. I think it's kind of interesting that that goes back to the days when Sure was a wartime supplier to the military. So if you go, if you get out of the 30s and into the 40s in the war years, World War II, uh, the company did a lot of microphones for communication battlefield conditions, and there was simply no question. But if you were going to supply to the military, you had to meet military specifications. If you think about this, you have a microphone in a ship or on a plane, and it fails. It could cause people to lose their lives. When the war ended he decided let's just keep the standards and keep testing our products to those standards. There was no reason in Mr. Schur's mind where a product that was going to a consumer compared to a product going anywhere else in the world should have a lesser quality. So here we are years later 
with basically the same quality standards that we had in the World War II era. Our priority is to deliver the top quality and reliable product to our customers. Being productive and efficient is a dominant effect for a good quality in, in your products. It's, it's actually not that simple to copy Sure products. You, you can make something that kind of looks like a Sure product and people attempt to do that every day, but it doesn't work like our products do. Sound engineer or an artist they know that our mics won't let them down, so they can really concentrate on, on their performance and their job, and this makes their life much easier. We are good at taking it a step higher than just meeting the needs. I think we, we really give the customer a higher level of expectation of Sure and the product and what it can do for them. The one thing that makes me proud to work for Sure, no one ever says to me, you know, your microphones are not very good or they fail. You never, never hear that. They are the most durable microphones I think made anywhere. Like the members of an orchestra, everyone must understand what is expected and should cooperate to reach the goals and accomplish the objectives. Nothing says icon like the Model 55 Unidyne microphone, an unmistakable classic as the first unidirectional microphone, the 55 let the world hear speeches, radio dramas, and musical performances more clearly than ever before. Ask any Sure associate, what's the emotion you experience when seeing a Sure microphone on television, at an event, or anywhere in the public eye? The answer is both simple and resounding. Pride. People on the teams get hugely invested. Like this week, I, I was in, in the Miami game and I sent back pictures from the actual referee wearing the body packs. And people immediately uh, print these shots, these you know, camera phone shots out, and you see them in front of their desk. And they take them home and show them to their families, like, this is what I worked on. Well, one thing I haven't seen change is the constant energy of the people that are committed to that feeling time and time again at every different discipline in the company. And doing it with pride and doing it with a sense of commitment, that you're committed to making the best products on the planet. Shore's dedication to the highest quality standards is a cornerstone of the brand. It's why people across the world associate the name Shore with words like confidence, reliability, and trust. That's what Shore is who its people are, and that commitment is shared by every Shure associate. Sydney and Shure's values created and defined in 1925, they, they have always driven us. One of our bigger competitors, Sennheiser, had a pretty major fire in one of their plants. Mr. Shure heard about this, called up Dr. Sennheiser, I would assume at the time, and he was saying that the one roadblock they had to getting their manufacturing going again was they couldn't find coil winding machines and they couldn't get them fast enough. So what did Mr. Schur do? He decided to send them a couple of coil winding machines uh, to help them get their manufacturing going again. And it tells you a lot about the man. I mean, uh, uh, just how honorable and respectful uh, a man he was. Collaboration and respect come naturally for Sure Associates. It's wired into their DNA, and it bleeds into their close relationships with customers. No one works harder to get inside a customer's world, get inside their head, and understand the way they work to perfect the tools that make them better at what they do. They know the customer because they are the customer. Uh, we don't hire people necessarily, they have to have those backgrounds as musicians, but people in many ways uh, find themselves to us because of that. And I think that's part of our success is because we, we understand customers because we are one at the end of the day. And I think that authenticity reflects itself in, 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 in the way we do business. People here are really excited about sound. They not only want to build the best possible products for our customers, but they really live and breathe the use of our equipment, many of our associates. And they really believe in this concept of making sound sound great. It's the it's the aura of, of sure. I think the, the culture here is sort of infectious, which is that good things in the culture uh, 
kind of tend to live on? I think the, uh, the respect, the, what I call it as the individual respect, that the company pays for us, and then we as associates uh, respect other individuals within the companies. First, we are in business to perform a service to people. People includes our customers, our employees, and the communities. Shure's customers span the globe. They include artists and entertainers, broadcasters, educators, governments, houses of worship, corporations, and world leaders. Each customer is unique, requiring different products for different situations, some more demanding than others. And Shure mics are always up to the challenge. NASA contacted us. They wanted to know about was there a way to use an acoustic trigger in the shuttle to actually open up a vacuum bottle that would suck in rocket fuel gases as it went up in the air, and they would analyze these gases later. So we talked about using the Shure SM11, which is this microphone right here, which is a dynamic microphone and really can handle pretty much any sound pressure level there is. During all the shuttle flights, there was only one SM11 that failed that was sent back to us for analysis. Well, when we took it apart, we found out that the reason that it failed was not the microphone, it was just the cable, that the, the technician had pulled the cable too tight and made the cable fail. Microphone didn't fail, just the cable failed. So this is actually our one little artifact that we have in our archives of a microphone that we think flew on 20 to 30 shuttle flights. I, I think Shure and its customers mutually value each other. The sustainability of, of the business is wholly dependent on, on understanding and having a good relationship with the customers. And I think we have focused enough on customer service, customer relationships, education, pre and post sale support that customers in turn really value Sure as a, as a source of product. Relationships with customers is the base of our business. We often talk about technical features and uh, take care about design and things like that, but business is done by people. In the end, the, the essence uh, or the brand promise is that we want to be the most trusted audio brand worldwide. Because when you are on stage, you have to trust that your mic, that has no dropout, that your mic works properly because you are earning your money with it. So it's all about trust. And we are building the products you can trust in, in the end. We treat all of our customers equally and with respect. And those values are ingrained and go way back to the founder's vision of the type of firm that he wanted to build. The thing I like about Shure is that the way they conduct their business reflects the way that a lot of people like to be treated. And I think Shure is number one in the microphone arena because they give the customers more of what they want less of what they don't want. It's as simple as that. The service level they give in uh, regarding everything uh, from the supplier. That is really one of, uh, I should say, our best supplier in the, to do business with. Really the relationship and the quality you know, of the service from the company is great, number one. I would say what they're great at is, is providing the entire solution to the customer. They're honest people, understanding, and dependable. The caliber of the people and how they do things and what level they operate at, as well as service, support, commitment to the end user, there's no comparison. Well, when a customer calls or contacts Shure, what they can expect is getting someone that they know, someone that they're familiar with, someone that they can expect will make sure that their, their question, their problem will be resolved. When you buy a Shure product, you're not just getting the physical product that comes in the box. You're also buying into a relationship and the kind of support that we've become well known for offering. Each person can feel a sense of participation and pride by working together to produce the finest products of their kind. Every time Shure announces a new product, expectations are high. Shore is the brand we've come to know as the one who really gets it right. Time after time, this has been true because Shore associates are relentless about understanding the people who use these tools. And this understanding starts with one simple step. We bring in uh, customers or potential customers who we know are going to be targeted end users for our products and we put them into groups we call panels. So we get feedback about the problems that they're trying to solve. 
And I think they're open and honest with us about what isn't working currently about our products, what does work. We can build a better product because of that, and it's because they trust us and we trust them. I think of it like it is a really sophisticated marketing Rolodex of people that just have a relationship with the Sure brand. They're more than happy to take part of their time and give you ideas and feedback about how to make essentially their life easier. We talk to the customers based on what their needs are, but we also watch them. We watch them use the products and interface with different products that connect to our product. We're good at listening, but I think we're really good at observing. Customers think they use a the product in a certain way that they really don't. So if I ask you, how do you drive? And you might say to me, I drive with my hands on 10 and two, but then I go watch you drive and then you're sitting back leaning and you have your left hand on 12 o'clock. It's not how you drive at all. But you think in your mind that you drive with 10 and two. So we get a lot of that. that Customers think they use a product in a certain way that they really don't. And then when you observe them, you have to make the product on how they actually use it. Shore has lived through numerous paradigm shifts in the audio world. Perhaps none have been as technically complex as the shift to wireless. The wireless story has been an interesting one. The world is going wireless, but the audio industry was going wireless decades before. Now we find ourselves in an interesting situation. Every wireless channel requires a certain piece of spectrum to operate in and unfortunately at the same time that people want to use more wireless the amount of spectrum available is starting to shrink and in some cases very dramatically. Spectrum is like real estate. There's only so much of it. Certain parts of it are very valuable and desirable. Certain parts of it aren't and they're not making any more of it. Audio pros described their dream wireless system. Sure took that dream and made it a reality. With Axiant, Sure shocked the industry. So this system gives you vast capabilities to basically reconfigure things in the middle. For example, if right now while I'm speaking, uh, the audio engineer noticed that the level was a little too high, he can make that change remotely and have it reflected immediately. In seriously crowded RF environments, Axiant gives engineers complete control providing peace of mind when failure is not an option. Every time I, I demo Axion somewhere, technicians always look for something. Ah, you haven't thought about that, or ah, well, if it would have, we'd be like that, it would be really cool. And with Axion, they say, ah, honestly, guys, you can't do it better. <laughs> Just as persons see things differently, groups of people have different views, ideas, policies, and principles of doing business. Thinking beyond geographic borders may be a recent trend for some companies, but for sure, it's been the vision since the very beginning. Long before the word global appeared on the horizon, we were a very global company. For a company our size to have the international presence that we do is still, even to this day, pretty astounding. I mean, the fact that we're selling in 140 countries, we have offices in many countries, most companies our size are not global. SN Shure began building international partnerships in the 1920s and 30s. Today, Shure products are sold in over 140 countries. But more importantly, the company has a physical presence all around the world. They build relationships, deliver personalized service to customers, design unique products for unique applications, and lead the way in a global pursuit of excellence. Having different offices in different parts of the world really, first of all, create the image that we are a global company, right? We support our customer everywhere, no matter if you are in Asia, in the US, or in Europe. We first started doing business here, I mean, having an office here in Asia since 1999. We really look at the success of the U.S. and the Europe organization that the support that we are giving to our customers is really one of the key success factors. It doesn't matter, you know, where, where we work, you know, either in, in, in U.S. or in, in state or in, in Suzhou and other region. Having the facilities here in, in Europe and in Germany 
gives us a, a good opportunity to directly communicate to our customers. Being close to the customer, being close to the market actually, this is one of our core strategies of the EMEA business plan and, and it's all about closeness really. So, so we consider the German market as a home market just like, like our uh, headquarter in, in the US is doing it with the US. And it always was a lot of work to bring equipment there, to test products with them, to do seminars. And uh, being closely in touch with those people that use our products is important to us. Touch with them and to really have in-depth conversation about the usage of our products. We have uh, committees here with, our, um, with the biggest um, countries in Europe with whom we meet um, on a regular basis to learn, to understand at an early stage uh, to make sure that then when we bring a product to market it absolutely meets the market requirements. Uh, and we give this knowledge to even if it's a Chinese manufacturing plant or a Mexican manufacturing plant or American manufacturing plant, same, same standard, same quality. The customer feels like they're dealing with the local entity. Uh, and and that, that's a huge advantage if you're, if you're a, glo a global company. In 1925, S.N. Shore set the company in motion on a path to lead with products and values that have stood the test of time. And today, this community of passionate associates spanning the globe shares his values. The products they create continue to delight the people who use them. In the audio business, change is constant, but it's sure some things will always remain the same. Passion for the products. Respect for each other. Pride in the brand. As S.N. Shore famously said, we know very well that absolute perfection cannot be attained, but we will never stop striving for it. And that is the story of Shore.